This is my complete and honest review of the Badlands Sacrifice LS backpack. Right off the bat, Badlands backpacks, really nice backpacks. The only con, they're pretty pricey. This one comes in at $329. It's not the most expensive backpack out there, but for hunting gear nowadays, 330 bucks, that's a chunk of change. This particular pack is a frame pack, but it's not a huge frame pack. What I like about this pack for me particularly is it's a frame pack, but kind of mixed in with a day pack as well. Again, it's not a huge frame pack, so I'm not gonna take it out to like the back country of the Rockies and pack out an elk with it. Cause I mean, Badlands makes packs twice the size of this almost. But I took this backpack down to Eastern Shore, Maryland, and we went and hunted Sika deer down uh, on Fishing Bay Reserve. Huge reserve, it's like 30,000 acres, but it is swampy, marsh, just it's crap. But I had this pack and I had it loaded down with only the essentials that I needed, food, ammo, a knife, toilet paper, cause we all need toilet paper. This backpack was a really nice pack for that. It you know, kept me comfortable. My shoulders weren't hurting. It was a great pack for what I wanted to use it for. I wasn't packing out a deer with it. I wasn't doing crazy stuff with it. I just had it loaded down with the essential gear and you know, I had it sitting on my shoulders and my back properly. It's, it distributed the weight really, really well. It was a great pack for hiking back there on public land. And that's where I think this backpack excels in. I would say those public land scenarios where you're not necessarily hiking back in and camping for a week, um, but those kind of maybe scenarios where you are getting out there and hiking, but you're not necessarily planning on packing out an elk, you know what I mean? So for me, I'm trying to get into some more public land hunting and around here where I live in, in, in this area, the Northeast, there's a lot of public lands around me, you know, that span a couple thousand acres and I could spend a day walking two, three, four, five miles and I need something that's gonna carry the weight, distribute it well and help me stay comfortable. My other backpack is an Alp Pursuit pack. It's a good pack, but it's a day pack, but it's not necessarily designed for me to go back in public land and hike around all day. It's just the way that it's designed. It's not gonna hold that weight on my back. It's not gonna distribute it the best and it's gonna leave my shoulders feeling a little bit uncomfortable. This pack, being it's a frame pack and it spreads the weight out really well. It's designed to carry a little more weight. It's designed for you to go back and hike with it. So this pack does really well as a day pack for hiking. That's what I would say. So what I really like about it, it's got a big cargo space on the inside here. Um, if I can find the buckle, big old flap opens up, goes in there, a lot of space in there. There's a second pocket in here where you can put your hydration bladder if you choose to do so. I didn't have a bladder. I just used it kind of as my food pouch when I was hunting. It does have, if you could see up here, it does have a zipper up on here so you can stick some stuff on the inside. That's where I had like my license and some important stuff. On the back side here opens up another big pouch up top here. Hand warmers, do I have anything else up here? No. Good place to kind of put some of those other essentials like a rangefinder, a knife, headlamp, whatever it may be. Like I said, put my food on the inside. Also had uh, toilet paper, uh, maybe gloves, a hat, um, spare clothing, whatever it may be. Some stuff that's just not too heavy. In here, we reach down into this pocket. This pocket spans down, right down the center. I have an easy hanger and a saw in here. Um, you can put a knife or whatever, whatever you want. Um, even water, I don't know. Good spot there. On each side of the backpack, down the edges here, you've got big pockets here. You could put, I had water in mine, so I had like two water bottles and maybe uh, you know, body armor. On the side there, on the other side, I had my GoPro because you know, gotta have a GoPro when you're filming. Right down here on your waistbands, you do have two pockets. One complaint would be, I wish they were a little bit bigger. They do fit some good stuff, but I wish they were just a touch bigger because yeah, uh, I had like a wind checker in there and a hand warmer, phone, snacks, kind of random things. I would have liked if they were a little bit bigger, but they did the job pretty well for me. You got a lot of adjustment as far as the straps and the waistband. See all these straps hanging off. There's a lot of adjustment on how you disperse the weight. It does have some of these pockets down here on the side. I had like a strap and, and a face mask on mine. Seems I also have a uh, hydration packet. That's cool. Big thing I love about frame packs over day packs is frame packs have a lot more straps okay even when i'm just going whitetail hunting on private property there are some places that i hunt that you know it might not be a long hike um, but it might be a really intense hike straight up a mountain or whatever it may be and i have to shed all my layers so that i'm not sweating walking up that mountain and then i gotta put them back on when i get to the top because it's 20 degrees out the day packs don't have the enough straps or big enough straps to haul all of my shedded layers, whether that be bibs and a puffy coat and whatever it may be. What I like about frame packs like this, and especially this one because it's almost like a day pack frame pack, is 
the amount of straps on here. So you can strap it to the side, down the center, down this side. I could even strap stuff kind of up in here and use the flap straps. Got a big strap bottom down here. And I use that when I was down in Maryland. I had my uh, uh, bigger coat strapped to the bottom in case I needed it. I love straps. Straps are really, really useful. And you don't even have to use them for clothing. You could use it for anything. So that's what I would say about uh, this pack in particular and Badlands. I mean, they have so many straps. And <clears throat> if you run out of cargo space, you can use the straps to strap a whole bunch more gear to your to pack, whether that be a spotting scope or a tripod or whatever it may be, you name it. Now at the very bottom, this does have a little pocket down here with your bow or gun boot that falls down. And then again, you can use your straps to strap your bow or your gun to it. Out of 10, we're gonna rate this pack. I'm gonna give it an eight. It's a good pack for, uh, you know, those lighter hiking jobs, you know, lighter hiking hunts. Got enough cargo space and pockets to carry pretty much any gear that I need to take with me on a hike um, or a hunt like that. Plenty of straps, that's the big plus, plenty of straps. The cons, again, the price, 330 bucks. That's expensive for a backpack. Um, I wish that there was maybe a few more organizational spots, but again, uh, I have to remember that this is a frame pack. It is not a day pack. Um, but it is the smaller end of a frame pack, which makes it really nice for those, you know, more day hunts, you know, hike back into public land, but you come back out at lunchtime or you stay in there for a day and you come back out, whatever it may be. You're not planning on packing out an animal with this pack. This is just simply, you know, you're going hunting, you got gear and you want to stay comfortable. You don't want to feel that weight on your shoulders all day. This is a great pack for you. So if you want to check out this pack, you can uh, click the link in the description. If you want to check out all of Badlands packs, check out badlands.com. I like it. I'm going to keep it around um, and I'll probably upgrade my day pack to a Badlands pack as well. So with that being said, thank you for watching. If you enjoyed, give it a like, follow along, subscribe. And if you're interested in land management, check out my other channel. Thanks for watching guys. See you in the next one.